stairs to her home after she almost lost it after a tree fell during a storm. She's hoping that the community comes to her and before things get worse. On your side's Robert Bradfield here tonight. Robert, I know you spoke with this woman. She says she's running out of options and patience. And she says she's also running out of time before the walls and her roof cave in around her. She turned to the On Your Side team and she's now turning to you for help. I have to drag this over here. This is not how Angela Jones planned to live. Plug this up. Two years after a storm and a tree almost took out her north side Jacksonville home. You know how hard it is, devastating to live in a house that you look at every day that's unsafe. It made me not even want to live here. In August 2020, an evening storm uprooted this tree and it landed on a portion of Jones's bathroom. She walked out to talk to her daughter about how hard it was raining. We were there the night it happened and the next day brought new light on how bad the damage actually was. All I knew is that I didn't have no place to live. That's all I could see. I never seen a tree so big before. Never. Jones, who does not have insurance, was able to get donated supplies to make the repairs, but she has not found anyone willing to do them. She says her floors need to be replaced and her electricity needs to meet code requirements. Her neighbors have chipped in, but she's now looking for professionals to finish the job. They brought me back into my home, but my home is still falling apart. She's also on a fixed income and is fearful her grandkids may get injured from what she says are fixable and preventable problems. She just needs a few good volunteers to give their time. I just need some help. That's all I can say. I just need some help. An emotional interview there. And again, Joan says that she has all of the supplies needed to rebuild portions of her home. But again, she says she cannot do it herself. She also told me earlier today that she has not been able to sleep in her bedroom because of the damage to her home. Mm. And Robert, I'm sure that there's probably someone watching at home tonight who wants to help her. How, how can people at home help her out? Well, I have included her contact information, including her email within this story, firstcoastnews.com. Also here, she says if she does not get help, she may have to move or even sell her home and that's something she says she does not want to do because she does not have the money. Uh, hopefully mm. someone watching can step in and help yep. her. Robert, thanks for yep. sharing.